worship that we have is our lives to offer to you. God, as we continue, Lord, to dwell in your presence, speak to us through your word, through your servant, O God. Even I pray, Lord, everyone na narito, Panginoon, I pray for your blessing, good health protection. Kailangan siya ng healing. Kaya mo, Panginoon, katanggap niya ang healing, O God. And even to our viewers, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will minister to them. Salamat, Panginoon, sa umalang ito. Ang lahat ng papuri, pasalamat, ay amin po ibinabalik sa inyo. Ito po nga ang dalangin sa nga ng Jesus. Ang lahat magsabi ng Amen! Amen! Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! Morning, morning, good morning sa bawat isa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, hallelujah. This is the first Sunday of the month of April. So, approaching na po ang ating pong family camp this coming April 14 and 15. So, pa-registered na kayo. This is the first time. This is a historic event. First time na ating pong gagawin na magkakaroon po tayo ng family camp. And I believe God is excited sa atin. Amen po? So, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, God bless you, my dear sister, my dear bride. Smile for Jesus. Okay, God bless you sa ating pong mga viewers. Salamat po sa inyong buhay. And it's a great honor sa araw, sa araw na ito, to be in the presence of God. Sambahin siya, purihin siya. So, ang ating pong pag-usapan ngayon is, we know that hindi po natin makalitaan, hindi natin madinay that our world for today is facing great crisis, meron pong war. So, pag-usapan po natin yung sinabi ni Jesus. Okay, our topic is talking about uh, kapayapaan. Amen? Say to yourself, may peace. Peace be with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Bakit kaya sinabi ni Jesus that have peace, Mag magkakaroon ka ng kapayapaan. Now, the, um, the Greek word of peace here, or Hebrew word, sorry, the Hebrew word of peace is, pinatawag po yan na shalom. Wow. Okay. Talking about peace, marami po tayong uh, in-expect na because of this, magkakaroon tayo ng peace. Amen? Mm, akala natin, pag meron po tayong or ang tao, pag meron pong pera ang tao, yun, may kapayapaan ako. Yun po na-expect na tao pag marami sa pera. That's why lahat ng gagawin niya, magkakapera siya. It could be uh, magkaroon siya ng posisyon sa kanyang buhay. Pag marating ko yan yung pinakamataas na posisyon, 
magkakaroon ako ng peace. It could be, dami po tayong mga sasabihin natin na for us, magiging secure tayo, magkaroon tayong peace. Okay, shalom. Sa Hebrew word of peace is shalom. Shalom. John chapter 14 verse 27. Yan po ang text pa natin. No? What does it mean peace? Sa Hebrew word? Shalom. Okay? Sinabi ko na kanina, shalom. The shalom is also spelled at shalom. Okay? Shalom, shalim, shaloy, shalim. It's a Hebrew word meaning. Okay. Sure. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin yan, peace, harmony, wholeness, completeness, prosperity. Yes. That's word shalom. Amen? Degree that. Okay. Ulitin ko, peace, harmony, wholeness, completeness, prosperity. Wow! I like this word, prosperity. <laughs> we're talking about prosperity, we're talking about financial. Okay? Mm. Welfare and tranquility. What does it mean? Tranquility means split from disturbance. So, kasi kapag meron kang disturb, wala kang kapayapaan. Okay? <laughs> Lalo na sa bahay. Okay, so, flee from disturbance. And can be used agimatically. What does it mean by agimatically? Agimatically is, it's a personal na pagtawag mo. Okay? Personal. Your personal perception. Okay. To mean both hello and goodbye. Grabe no, ang shalom. Hello. Yun po, pag pupunta ka sa Israel, pupunta ka sa Israel, hello, means shalom. Pag alis ka, shalom. Pag magkasalubong mo yung tao, shalom. So ito na, magkapag naanawaan mo, oh, naunawaan mo yung word na shalom, ang ibig sabihin, peace, harmony, wholeness, completeness, prosperity, welfare, flee from the services, and that is tranquility. So, Shalom, my dear sister. Shalom. <laughs> Bakit hindi nila shalom yung title mo, Pastor? Because napakalit. Yung pong, malalit po talaga yung shalom. But here, we, we know that if we are, alam ko po, yung sinabi ni Jesus kung nandoon tayo sa Israel, Jesus is using His word, shalom. Hello, amen? So, no, because we read the Bible in the translation of English, that's why peace, peace. Hindi binigas ito na shalom. Okay. Okay. Now let's read the book of John chapter 14 verse 27. Is dito na po tayo manahan sa ating message this morning. Okay? And sabi dito sa John chapter 14 verse 27. This is the word of Jesus. Ito po ay salita po nito ng Panginoon iniwan po niya sa atin. Sabi niya, "Peace I leave with you." When Jesus talked about this word, yung sentence na ito, alam ko, mayroong ibig sabihin ng Panginoon. Amen. Meron siyang nakita sa atin. At meron tayong gagawin. Bakit iniwan natin, bakit iniwan ni Jesus yung peace na yan? Ano pong sige? And may peace I give unto you. Again, sinabi niya, peace I give to you, my peace I give to you, not as the word gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let be afraid. Okay? Kita po natin ito na sinabi ni Jesus na hindi pa tayo magiging malungkot o tayo magiging abala, worry, trouble, afraid, at takot. And this piece that Jesus gave to you is sabi na dito, the word cannot give. So pagbulay-bulayin po natin ito, this word here, the first statement, the first sentence na sinabi dito sa John chapter 14 verse 27, Peace, I live with you. This is the word of Jesus. He's talking to you personally. He's talking to the disciple personally. One by one, peace, I live with you. Ano pong, ano pong ibig sabihin ni Jesus? Jesus is talking about the Holy Spirit. Amen? He's not saying, my peace, but He said, peace, I live with you. That peace is talking the Holy Spirit. The third Godhead, which is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus wants us to know the Holy Spirit. Amen? Do you agree with that? Iniwan niya yung Holy Spirit sa atin. And 
Jesus, yung iniwan niya ng Holy Spirit sa atin, gusto niyang makilala mo siya. But this peace I give to you, I'm talking the Holy Spirit, the third Godhead, and this Holy Spirit, kailangan kilalanin mo. Hello? Maraming mga Kristohanon, nalalaman niya ng Holy Spirit, but hindi lang doon gusto ng Lord. Gusto niya siyang makilala buong puso, sa loob-loob ng puso mo, kilalanin mo ang Holy Spirit. Because siya ang magtuturo sa iyo paano mo makilala si Jesus. Siya ang mag-guide sa iyo sa lahat ng katotohanan. You will not be uh, kanabang malingla, ma... Mm. Praise God. So, the third, kita ko dito, that Jesus wants us to have relationship with the Holy Spirit or intimacy. So, iniwan niya yung Holy Spirit sa atin. And it's my prayer that we will seek to strengthen, hanapin natin Holy Spirit with a heart. Yes, nandyan siya. Andyan lang. Pero hindi mo sinu-welcome sa puso ko. Kailangan, kaya langan makilala natin ang Holy Spirit. Kaya even sa ministry na ginagawa ko natin, it is the Holy Spirit talking to you. Alam mo, pag meron pong gagawin, last Friday, we discussed about the healthy church. Acts chapter 2. The Holy Spirit will urge us. If you are close to the Holy Spirit, you will obey Him. Hello? Amen. You will obey. Because the Holy Spirit will speak to you. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. He will say to you, Na, pray. Na, alam mo yung, yung book of Acts, daily, they go to the church, they go to the temple. Mga Kristuhanon, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sunday, yun pa, kulang pa, hindi pa tudo-tudo magpuri sa Panginoon. Because God wants you. The Holy Spirit, gusto niyang manapit tayo sa Diyos, gusto din siya na manapit tayo sa Kanya. 